All right, the next problem, similar idea. Well, we know there's two lines that are parallel, M and N. I sh sorry, I should have said that before. Two parallel lines coupled by a transversal have really interesting properties. Uh, another, again, so this angle here is equal to this angle. Why? Because they're vertical angles. They're across from each other. So what else do we know? Well, this, this Z shape right here, right? Like this, it's like a backwards, backwards Z, almost like an S shape. Um, that means this angle equals this one. Okay, well, if these two angles are equal, and these two angles are equal, they're all equal to each other. And we have almost the identical problem, where 4W plus 40 equals W plus 115. So now I want to solve. I'm going to subtract 40 from both sides. And I get 4W equals W plus what? Well, what's 115 minus, minus 40? I get 75. Right, because 75 plus 25 is 100, plus another 15 is plus 40. So that's my answer. I'm going to subtract W from both sides. And I get 3W equals 75. So W equals 25. And to make that jump right there, I just thought, well, what if I divide both sides by 3? Right, This cancels out, and 75 divided by 3 is 25. In this problem, we have two vertical angles. You see this X shape right here. Two vertical angles are equal. So 2X equals X plus 15, and we want to know what's X. Well, if we subtract X from both sides, we get X equals 15, and we're done. Vertical angles, nice and straightforward. Here, these two angles are equal because L and M are parallel, and they're cut by this line, that transversal. So anytime you look at this, this S shape, or conversely, this, this Z shape, what we have are equal angles. These two red angles equal each other, and these two blue angles equal each other. So 5x minus 28 equals 3x plus 12. And we can solve. I'm going to add 28 to both sides. And at the same time, to save, save some space, we subtract 3x from both sides. And now I get what? Well, this cancels out. That's nothing. 5x minus 3x is 2x. This cancels out, right, because 3x minus itself is nothing. And then we have 12 and 28, so we have 40. So 2x equals 40. What does x equal? We'll divide both sides by 2. And x equals 20. If we scroll down, we want to know what is the measure of the angle represented by 5x minus 28. Plug in x. So 5 times 20 that's what x is, minus 28. It's 100 minus 28, which is 72. Okay. On well, this one, and same idea as the others. We have two parallel lines, r and t. So these two blue angles equal each other. These two blue angles equal each other. And this blue angle, right, these two are equal. So what does that mean? Well, it means that this red angle, where b is, and the blue angle have to equal 180 degrees. So if I were to add A and B, angle A and B, I would get 180 degrees. So I'm going to use that. We know that A equals 15 plus X plus B, which is 6X plus 60, and that equals 180. So what do we do now? Well, 6X and X, it's 7X. 60 and 15 is 75, and that equals 180. We're almost done. 7x plus 75 is 180, so subtract 75 from both sides. And now I get what? Well, this is gone. That's 75 minus itself. 7x equals 105. So does 70 go into that? 7 go into that? Yes, because I, I just said it. 7 goes into 70. So if I take divide both sides by, by 7, I get x equals 105 over 7, which I think you can reason out is, I think... Well, 7 times 10 is 70. And then we have 30, 35 more to go. 7 times 5 is 35. So 7 times 15 is 105. So x is 15 in this case. But oops, that's not what they want to know. They want to know what's the measure of angle A. And I made a mistake there. A is equal to 15 plus x. So if x is, if x is 15, angle A is 15 plus that, which is 30. I don't know if they ask anything else here. 
Okay, that's that question. Now in this question, um, we've got this angle right here, this blue angle. It equals this angle, which equals this angle. Now that blue angle plus this red angle, again, has to equal 180. So they want to know how could we solve this? Well, if the blue angle and the red angle, right, these blue angles are all the same, if we add them up and get 180, that's how I'd solve it. They're not equal to each other. 3x plus 21 does not equal 6x plus 15. And these are, notice these are almost identical, right? They're just rewriting stuff here. Um, but what I would do is 3x plus 21 plus 6x plus 15, which is right here. 3x plus 21, the blue angle, plus 6x plus 15, the red angle, has to equal 180. But here they say 90, so we're almost there. So now here's the right answer, 6x plus 15, that one angle plus the other, have to equal 180 because together the blue and red angles make a straight line which has 180 degrees. Here, same principle. Um, we have a straight line. And 8x plus this angle, 6x plus 60, have to make a 180 degree angle. So I would say 8x plus 16x plus 60 have to equal 180. So these two together make 24x plus 60 equals 180. I'm going to subtract 60 from both sides. So I get 24x equals 120. And then, well, I'm almost done, right? I want to divide both sides by 24. So 24, I'm going to say a 24 times 5 is what? Well, 5 times 24, 5 times 20 is 100, times 4 is no, 20, so that's 120. So we get x equals 5. And they want to know what's the measure of angle ABC. So don't stop right there. ABC is what? 8x. So if x equals 5, then 8 times x equals 40. So the measure of angle ABC is 40 degrees. OK, and this problem right here, uh, again, I think we, we see a pattern. We have this angle equals this angle. And then we have this shape right here, so that they're equal as well. So altogether, these angles are equal to each other. So 7x equals 2x plus 35. Take 2x on both sides. We want to figure out what x is. That's what part A asked for. So we get 0 here, and 5x equals 35. So x equals 7. So x equals 7. So what is the measure in degrees of A, angle A? Well, angle A is right here, and that's equal to this angle because of vertical angles. So 2x plus 35, what does that equal? Well, if x is 7, we get 14 plus 35, which is what? 49 degrees. So A is equal to 49 degrees. And what is the angle measure of angle B? Well, notice this blue and red angle. This, well, these two angles right here have to add up to 180. So B, angle B, plus our red angles, which we know are equal to 49, have to equal 180. So subtract 49 from both sides. And again, if you have a number like 49, just think, well, if I took 50, how much would I be taking away? I'd get 130. Well, that's taking away a little bit too much. So it's 131, and that's the measure of angle B in this problem. And that's it for the those type of problems. Hope it helps.